there's so much going on in the world at the moment. Uh, things are going very badly, I'd say. Um, but I'm I'm pleased that Donald Trump has mentioned vote rigging because I know that vote rigging happens. It's not a theory and it doesn't just occur in third world countries. It happens in the UK, it happens in, and it happens in America. There's strong evidence that both the Ron Paul campaign last time round and the election of George Bush were influenced by vote rigging. I mean, it, it's bad enough that the mass media tell us what to think. It's bad enough that celebrities and big business try to influence our opinion. It's bad enough that the average person has the attention span of a mosquito. And it's bad enough that almost no one bothers investigating issues and base their ridiculous opinions on um, propaganda that they lap up like thirsty puppies. Now, I don't know who John Oliver is. Apparently, he's some English guy who went over to America to make a fast buck. Um, quite a few of these people do seem to do that. No wonder the Americans fucking hate us. Um, I suppose one good thing about it is at least if John Oliver's in America, then he isn't here in the UK. Um, but presumably, he, he gets more money over there, so uh, presumably that's why he's doing it. Um... He says that Donald Trump's election claim is legitimately dangerous. After numerous women emerged and accused Trump of sexual misconduct. Telling your supporter, well, yeah, all right, well, there's always going to be this type of dirty tricks campaign. Um, telling your supporters the election is being rigged is legitimately dangerous because faith in fair elections and in peaceful transfer of power are essential foundations for a democracy. No, Mr. Oliver, if Donald Trump knows or suspects that elections will be rigged, then it's up to him to tell the public that this is the case. Rigging things is as old as time. You might as well claim that no such thing as insurance fraud exists. People are crooked, and in particularly when there's such a, uh, such a lot at stake. Many, many countries have a vested interest in the outcome of the U.S. election. Um, experts on, on um, voting um, machines have already testified that it's very easy to tamper with voting machines to give a false result. They've testified under oath. Therefore, it is very disingenuous for J John Oliver to accuse Trump of uh, being, uh, you know, when in fact uh, Donald Trump is raising a very, very serious issue. As I said, um, whether they are going to rig the election or not, it's hard to say. I myself uh, would not be supporting either Trump or Clinton, but certainly of the two candidates, Trump is f much better than Clinton. I mean, Clinton is guilty of, of uh, felonies. Uh, whereas Trump is guilty, maybe, of misdemeanors. I mean, uh, you know, groping a woman on a plane 30 years ago hardly compares to the, to the uh, warmongering uh, policies of Clinton and her ex-husband. I also would like to point out that it's very unhealthy in a democracy to have related individuals taking uh, the office. Mrs. Clinton should not be allowed to become president because her husband is called Bill Clinton. In just the same way as one Bush preceding the other was a disaster, um, in my opinion, there's too much consolidation and nepotism in politics. We don't want any more Bushes or Clintons. Um, right. Um, it's unheard of in American modern history. Well, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's unheard of or not. Maybe he's the first person to tell the truth about this. The concept of democracy itself. No, John Oliver, the concept of democracy that you and your um, Zionist friends are, are parroting is basically the idea to do what we're told, not what we want. 
We are sick of being led by the nose by the government and media to force us to do what you want. John Oliver, you are paid lots of money by vested interests to parrot bullshit. Okay, I don't think you're funny at all. You look like a complete prat. Um, and I, I'm, I'm certain uh, that uh, Donald Trump is correct when he says that there's a very strong possibility, indeed a probability, that the election will be rigged in some way. Um, whether or not that will be, uh, whether or not the opinion polls are being rigged is another matter. That that's also very possible. And one thing is for sure: the mass media are doing everything in they ca they can to influence popular opinion. Mass media is not there to tell us what to think. Mass media should be there to educate us and in uh, entertain us. Sometimes, as far as I'm concerned, people like John Oliver are neither entertaining nor providing any worthwhile information. I think we need to take Donald Trump's accusation seriously. And I, I know for a fact that if you do any searches about election fraud, not just in foreign countries, but in the US and UK, you will find it's a lot more common than you think.